Matcha has skyrocketed in popularity lately, uh, with matcha shots, lattes, teas, and even desserts uh, popping up everywhere from health food stores to coffee shops. Studies of matcha and its components have unearthed a variety of health benefits, and in this video, we're looking at four of the best ones. Like green tea, matcha comes from the Camellia sinensis plant. However, farmers cultivate matcha by covering their tea plants for 20 to 30 days before harvest to avoid direct sunlight. This increases chlorophyll production, boosting the amino acid content and giving the plant a darker green hue. Once the tea leaves are harvested, uh, the stems and veins are removed and the tea leaves are ground up into a powder that becomes matcha. And because matcha contains nutrients from the entire tea leaf, it results in a greater amount of caffeine and antioxidants uh, than you typically find in a standard green tea. Okay, so the main benefit of matcha is that it's high in antioxidants. Matcha is rich in catechins, a class of plant compounds in tea that act as natural antioxidants. Antioxidants help stabilize harmful free radicals, which are compounds that can damage cells and cause chronic disease. So when you add matcha powder to hot water to make tea, the tea contains all the nutrients from the entire leaf. Uh, it will tend to have more catechins and antioxidants than simply steeping green tea leaves in water. In fact, by one estimate, the number of certain catechins in matcha is at least three times higher than most green teas, and up to 137 times higher than uh, in one certain type of green tea uh, in this study. So including matcha in your diet could increase your antioxidant intake, uh, which could help protect against cell damage and definitely lower your risk of several chronic diseases. Number two, it could help protect the liver. The liver is vital for health and plays a central role in uh, flushing out toxins, uh, metabolizing drugs, and even processing nutrients. Some studies have found that matcha may help protect the health of your liver. Uh, this study gave diabetic rats matcha for 16 weeks and found that it helped prevent damage to both the kidneys and liver. Another study gave 80 people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease either a placebo or 500 milligrams of green tea extract daily for 90 days. Now, after 12 weeks, green tea extracts significantly reduced liver enzyme levels, and elevated levels of these enzymes are a marker of liver damage. Lastly, an analysis of 15 studies found that uh, drinking green tea was associated with a lower risk of liver disease. Now, this is just an association. It doesn't prove cause and effect. There could be uh, other reasons why they observed this, but it's certainly promising. Number three, it may improve cognitive performance. Some research shows that several components in matcha may help enhance cognitive function. One study in 23 people looked at how they performed uh, on a series of tasks designed to measure cognitive performance. Some participants consumed either matcha tea or a bar containing four grams of matcha, while the control group consumed a placebo tea or bar, so uh, a pretend matcha tea or bar. The researchers found that matcha caused improvements in attention, reaction time, and memory compared to that placebo. Matcha contains a more concentrated amount of caffeine than green tea, packing in 35 milligrams of caffeine per half teaspoon, about one gram of matcha powder. Now, multiple studies have linked caffeine consumption to improvements in cognitive performance, which would explain why it helps uh, with cognitive function in the study I mentioned earlier. Matcha also contains a compound called L-theanine, which alters the effects of caffeine, promoting alertness and helping avoid the crash in energy levels that can follow caffeine consumption. Number four, it could increase weight loss. Take a look at any weight loss supplement and there's a good chance you'll see a green tea extract listed in the ingredients. Green tea is known for its ability to enhance weight loss, at least slightly. A study showed that it may help speed up metabolism to increase energy expenditure and boost fat burning. Now one small study showed that taking green tea extract during moderate exercise increased fat burning by 17%. Another study in 14 people found that taking a supplement containing green tea extract significantly boosted 24-hour energy expenditure compared to a placebo. This review of 11 studies also concluded that green tea has a small positive effect on reducing body weight and helping maintain weight loss. Uh, but just note, this effect is really minor, so it won't work miracles. Uh, in fact, it won't do much at all, but it is there. Although most of those studies focus on green tea extract rather than matcha, uh, they both come from the same plant and have a very comparable nutrition profile. In fact, matcha is probably even better given its higher caffeine content. And of course, remember to combine matcha with a nutritious, lower calorie diet and active lifestyle uh, to optimize weight loss. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.